In the world of guns, everyone seems to be looking for the most powerful firearm. Whether that be a large caliber handgun or a semi-automatic rifle. Handguns are generally considered to be low in power and high in portability. They were originally thought of, and still are, as defense tools for close quarters combat. But the handgun has evolved over the years. Handguns today aren't just concealed carry firearms to fend off bad guys. They're also used for hunting the largest and most dangerous game in the world. We're not talking about specialized single shots and bolt action handguns either. We're talking about semi-automatics and revolvers. Many of these bullet-spitting monsters come with shoulder slings and bipods for hunting, and fire rounds big and fast enough to drop bear, elk, and buffalo, or even puncture a steel plate. And of course, they're a hell of a lot of fun to shoot at the range. Sorted by muzzle energy rather than caliber, here are a few notably heavy-hitting handguns and the cartridges they digest that exceed Eastwood's hand cannon. This isn't meant to be a super comprehensive list of powerful guns based on a ton of ballistic data. This is simply a list of firearms that keep coming up as the most powerful in the world. There you go, the 44 Magnum Raging Hunter from Taurus. Uh, overall, pretty sweet deal. There you go. You can throw your optic on there. I like this barrel. It's got a little bit of a port there. Uh, the the kick, it's a 44 Magnum, so you're going to feel a little bit of that recoil, but it's not too bad. You can handle that. The adjustable rear sight, I like that as well. The grip's really nice, and it feels pretty good in my hand, too, for a bad boy gun like that. Six shots. We all know that it is a revolver. Uh, I like it. It retails at about $900. That's the MSRP. I'm excited today to talk to you about the brand new hunting revolver from the Performance Center. It's the Performance Center 460 XVR. Some of the features on this hunting revolver is a muzzle brake, and I always recommend a handgun with one of those when you're shooting these large calibers. Really helps a lot in the recoil uh, and the muzzle flip, even for a follow-up shot in a hunting situation. I also really like for the young guys, the high-vis fiber optic sight and the white outline rear sight. For you guys that want to strictly hunt and keep the weight down and not put an optic on, it's a great feature. One of the other features I really like for us veteran hunters is the integral rail. You can put a red dot optic, or if you really want that magnification, you can put a two to eight magnification scope on for that really long range shooting with such a great caliber. One of the features I really like is the performance center tune action job. It's very important as a professional shooter and hunter to have a great trigger job. The double action is really smooth for quick follow up shots, and the single action is nice and light for that long range shot on that trophy white tail. This hunting handgun comes with a seven and a half inch barrel for those long range extended shots and the non fluted cylinder for a little extra weight in a big bore handgun. I also really love the 460 caliber and this particular handgun because you can use different ammunition. You can shoot 454 Casul, 45 long Colt. And I really like that opportunity to be able to do that on the range, just plinking around, sighting in roughly. It's nice to shoot, not such a hot load and have that heavy recoil all the time. When you're looking for that long range shot, the 460 is a great caliber. I've harvested white-tailed deer at over 200 yards with it. The 460 is the perfect caliber for any North American big game animal. Desert Eagle 
from Magnum Research. It's the 50 AE right there. But I don't have one. I don't have two. But I have three. Yes, we do. Now look, there's the 1911. That's 45 ACP. How beautiful is that thing? Uh, we're going to be shooting some of these guns today. We're going to be talking about some of these guns today. We're going to be talking about the practicality. We're going to do all kinds of cool things. But for right now, I think what we should do is see what these can do to a little watermelon. All right, let's take a look at what the 50 AE does to the watermelon. Well, that's pretty much all that's left right there of the watermelon. <laughs> wow. Still tastes pretty good. Tastes more like an apple now though. But now it's time to put a bowling ball to the test. All right, let's check it out. Whoa, hello. Well, there you go. That is not your grandpa's 22. I can tell you that right there. Uh, hey, we still have some real estate left. Let's play around a little more. Let's talk a little bit about this. This right here is set up as the 50 AE, and I'm gonna show you some of that ammunition here in a second. But if you wanna to go to a 44 Magnum, super easy to do, right? Press this button here on this side, which is gonna allow you to drop that. Then you're gonna slide this carefully on out. There's the 50 AE. Look for the 44 on the side of your barrel. Whoop, had it backwards there for a second. Slide that in, just like that. Lock it, you're good to go. That's the 44 Magnum barrel. Really easy to switch that out. Now let's talk about this. The ammo, 50 AE. Seriously, nine millimeter. You see the difference? A little bit, <laughs> I'd say. Uh, for those of you that like 45 ACP, there you go. That is your 45 ACP right there next to it. And uh, there's your 44 Magnum. Pretty similar there. So this right here is gonna uh, throw about 1,500 foot-pounds of muzzle velocity right there. That's muzzle energy that's gonna be just wow. So a lot of people say like, well, do you really need a handgun that big? Well, let's not really call it a handgun as much as it fits in your hand. We're gonna talk about the practicality of using it in your hand, or are you gonna use that as more of a rifle. And let's break that down for a second. So if you look at this, this operates much different than your average handgun. If you see the bolt here, it's like an AR. As well as, look at the slide. The slide isn't gonna slide here. It's gonna slide back here. You know why? Because you actually have this gas that builds up, the pressure shoots that piston back, which is gonna force the ejection of your cartridge and load your next round. That makes this thing cool. What else makes this thing cool? Well. It is the biggest magazine-fed handgun on the planet. That's pretty cool. So let's talk a little bit about the practicality of this gun. Uh, would you carry this every single day? Put it in comments, let me know. Uh, you can, there is an option if you'd like, we can go inside the waistband. That's Alien Gear Holsters right there. That's available for inside the waistband. A lot of options available for you right now on the website. For those of you that want to maybe be out in the woods, maybe you like riding around your ATV, maybe you like camping, hiking, and you want to carry this thing around with you, this makes it practical. The chest holster from Alien Gear Holsters. It is uh, extremely comfortable, and uh, it obviously fits really well, perfect. Does it, is it gonna move too much right there? I mean, this is a big gun, right? But it's, it's a nice holster. I would uh, check it out today. Also, uh, one of the things that makes this gun cool is uh, how about all the people you've seen holding this thing in their hand? Yeah, every movie, TV show, and video game you probably have seen, if it's cool, it's the Desert Eagle. 
and that's it right now. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, put your questions and comments and we will get to those as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already. And uh, we have more gun fun for you to come. Thank you.